Hey, Breast Cancer Warrior. I'm going to start out by saying you have got this. And I'm going to share with you today something that your doctor may or oncologist may not have shared with you, and it is going to help prevent a side effect that comes from chemotherapy. So, we're going to talk about freezing your fingers and toes during Taxotere or Taxol chemotherapy. Those are two that are known to cause neuropathy. And there may be other chemo cocktails that you're getting that cause neuropathy. So definitely check in now that you know this information with your oncologist and ask about the side effects. Or they're probably giving you a printout piece of paper and you can read about the side effects. Either way, I would triple check this. I definitely know either with Taxol or Taxotere, they are known to cause neuropathy. I will also say I have had ladies contact me and and it was after they did chemo and they did not know to freeze their fingers and toes. No one told them. Their doctor, their oncologist didn't tell them. They didn't have anyone to ask who had been through breast cancer treatment to tell them. And it breaks my heart because they did end up with neuropathy, which is a numbness in your fingers and toes that affects you picking up items and you might have a tendency to drop them and it affects you walking or even exercising or even walking. So I don't want that to happen to you and I'm gonna tell you how to freeze your fingers and toes. First, you're gonna have an ice pack. So they actually make ice packs that are, if you go onto Amazon and type in cold therapy for fingers and toes, you're gonna see mittens that show up and um, like socks to go over your toes or even like little finger gloves. You'll see a wide range. When I went through chemo, I honestly did not see that a few years ago. I went to the drugstore and I got this. And I got these because that's all they had. And they also were cold for eight hours. So I knew that if I froze them the night before, by the time I got to the um, to Emory is where I had my treatment, you know, they were gonna stay cold. And I brought a cooler. I also cold capped, so we had a cooler. Um, it was a cooler that had wheels on it with dry ice and I had these in that cooler. But if you're not cold capping or if you're not having to bring a cooler for any reason, you can bring your own cooler, have other ice packs in it, and then if you, whatever you choose to buy, you can make sure it stays cold that way. So that's the easy fix. You may be getting more than one chemo at one time. So I went through TC chemo. I had the C chemo first, and then I had the T chemo, which was either Taxotere or Taxol for me. I'm trying to remember now. They're similar. So during just the T chemo, that's when I froze my fingers and toes. You don't need to do it the whole time. And for these, since it's not a mitten, you know, I just wrapped my hand around it and had it sitting in my lap. It will get cold, so you can remove it, allow it to warm up, and then you just put it right back in, and you're gonna do it for that hour. And I want you to know that you have got this, and it is totally worth it. The same thing for your toes. You know, you're gonna just wrap. The socks would definitely be easier. Or, you know, I had these, and I wrapped them around my toes, so I recommend you purchasing the mittens and the socks, because it'll just be way easier. And there's something else that you can do. Dress very warm. I wore long johns, I had extra jackets, pants. Uh, you can get a heating blanket that plugs into the wall. So you can make it, you know, like, a, like you're skiing almost, like a warm, toasty feeling, except your fingers and toes are cold. So do this for yourself, do it for me. Really freeze your fingers and toes. There's another side effect that involves fingernails and toes with chemo, and it makes them become brittle and possibly black. So I have a solution for that. I used Melaleuca tea tree oil. It's the same thing. It comes from the Melaleuca plant. It's tea tree oil. I use doTERRA's. These are essential oils I love. I choose these because they're the most tested and trusted in the entire world. And I am so particular now about the products that I use. And I've actually been using doTERRA since um, 2015. I have been using it way more seriously since I was diagnosed with breast cancer and for my recovery. This rollerball is amazing. It already has fractionated coconut oil and you do want it to be diluted and I simply just take it and I would rub it on the fingernails and then you can just rub in the oil and it's as easy as that and I did this at least twice a day. I did notice at one point my fingernails started to get a little weaker, so I used it more. I think I upped it to three times a day, maybe four, until I noticed that they had the health back, and then I went back to two times a day. 
So this is another amazing tip, and I'm pretty sure your oncologist will not share this with you either. If they do, they're amazing. So I would like you to comment below. Let me know if you have any questions, where you are in your journey, and I'm here for you. Also, I'll have my, um, I'll have a link for this in the notes so you can easily purchase it, and I'll have my contact information if you have any further questions. Again, I want you to know you have got this.